advisory for Hurricane Irma is just in as we continue to track the powerful storm in the Atlantic. Here's meteorologist Liz Horn, who's in for Lisa Gonzalez with the very latest. Liz, good morning. Good morning to you. That's right. Hurricane Irma is still a very powerful storm. Category 3 hurricane with winds of 115 miles per hour, still moving off to the west southwest around 14 miles per hour. Now, the latest advisory has continued to shift the storm westward quite a bit. A little bit more concerning for us in South Florida, but it's still pretty far out. Let's take you through the path here. Approaching the leeward islands as we go Tuesday into Wednesday, and then still the category four hurricane as it passes just north of Puerto Rico, Haiti, and then finally towards the Bahamas and Cuba as we head into Saturday. Now, what remains to be seen is what will happen after this. Will it curve back up towards South Florida, or will it stay a little bit more out to sea and head up towards the Carolinas? That, unfortunately, is just too early to know for sure, but we do know that there will be a significant wind impact, definitely impacting the Leeward Islands by the middle part of this week and then towards the end of the week as we head into the Bahamas. This is the impressive satellite imagery right now of Irma. You can clearly see that well-defined eye wall. This storm is expected to strengthen in the coming days. Sea surface temperatures very warm, and as you get towards the pink, that's even warmer water. These systems tend to thrive in that warm ocean water. What that means, of course, is that it will allow for at least strengthening, so we're probably looking at at least a Cat 4 storm here as it impacts these islands here. So these are the Leeward Islands. They have issued a hurricane watch for them. That means conditions are favorable for hurricanes in the next 48 hours. And of course, I do anticipate those warnings expanding and watches expanding. And that's a hurricane watch, rather, as we go into the coming days. Right now, here in South Florida, just dealing with a few showers offshore. Some of those will end up clipping Miami-Dade and Broward County. Temperatures very warm. 83 Pompano Beach, 80 in Miami and Homestead, 83 in Key West. As we head throughout the day, another warm one for your Labor Day. Mostly cloudy, off and on periods of sunshine with storm chances. 92 degrees may feel even warmer at times. Later this evening, a few storms still possible near 85. We're going to continue to track Irma and show you the models that bring it very close to South Florida. Coming up in your full forecast.